places to end in fire Then we shall all burn together Watch the flames climb high Into the night Calling out Father Oh, stand by and we will Watch the flames burn all and on The mountainside high should die tonight we should all die together raise a glass of wine for the last time calling out father oh, prepare as we will watch the flames burn up and on the mountainside desolation comes upon the sky now I see fire Inside the mountain I see fire Burning the trees And I see fire Hollow in soul I see fire Blood in the breeze And I hope that you remember Welcome back to another video. So I hope you, you enjoyed that little sort of intro with a few things I've been doing around New Zealand and you know ending up with a, seeing this the stage from the opening ceremony last night. So met up with the Scotland team last night and um, got the kit. You can see the new tracksuits are unreal. Uh, got a little Scottish powerlifting badge. Um, so yeah, uh, very happy with the kit. It was great to meet all the team and kind of get acquainted with everybody and, and see the venue and it just got me really, really fucking excited. Um, Kira actually competes tomorrow. I'm not till Saturday, so I'm still five days out, uh, which is crazy because I'm just like itching to get on the platform now and I've been watching the live stream of some of the younger lifters. So yeah, it's getting it's getting real now. I can't wait to go and support Kira tomorrow. I'm going to try and get to the venue tonight to support some more people. But I still have openers to hit, so I'm heading to the gym. Um, basically, uh, for my openers, we've decided we're going to learn from mistakes in the Scottish champs and we're actually going to pull back a little bit on the openers and take a bigger jump. So um, I opened with 250, which was no bother in the Scottish champs, but we're going to open at 245 just because it's international competition. Like, they're going to be quite strict with depth. Make sure you sink it, get the first one on the board, take the bigger jump. I've been doing that in training anyway. I've been jumping from like 245 to 255 to 257 and stuff. So do that. Bench 150, deadlift 260. So yeah, um, obviously we've tapered down and it's about making us move and feeling confident for the weekend. Um, and yeah, that's that's everything. Five days out. It's the 28th of November today. I compete on the 3rd of December. And I'm going to go train now. I'm not going to talk to the camera during the session. I just want to focus. You're going to see the new singlet. I'm going to be in all my kit. Just getting the right mindset and going fucking... This is the final big session. I've got one little small session, but this is it, you know. So got to make this go well to go into the Commonwealth's uh, confidence. <laughs> Oh! 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 
How are you, bro? Oh, shit. You feel good? Yeah. I Alright boys and girls, so openers hit, what a fucking atmosphere in Get Strength, honestly. Uh, I love training there, plus those people were the con from the Commonwealth were in. Um, the only problem was that getting plates was a bit difficult, hence why like, my 245 was like two reds and three blues, but everything moved well, um, and I, I feel good going into it. I, I can't ask any more, like, I've not hit any real PBs in this prep, but it's not about that, like, you know, you take what's there on the day, I, I've not missed a single lift in training, I've done everything I can, I feel recovered, I feel good to go in. That day I felt, yeah, I just felt really, really good. And I think our attempt selection is all correct and I'm just ready to go. And plus, like, I've still got, you know, four days worth, like Wednesday I've got a little session, but four days worth of rest coming even better. And I, I just, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. And there's no reason not to go into it confident. Like I've worked, I saw a quote, it was like, you've worked too hard not to be confident. And that's exactly why I'm taking it. Plus just having the Scotland single on, I just, yeah, I feel really, really good. Anyway, now I'm at the event center and I'm gonna go watch, um, I believe we've got two lifters competing in the country now, so I need to get in. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the like stage and stuff, it's fucking epic. So it's very late, um, it's like past midnight now, I uh, was at the venue till like 9 watching some of the women lift and it was amazing, got me really pumped to get out there and just want to round off the video um, I guess with some thoughts like I already said I feel really good considering all the shit that's happened with this prep with the injury and stuff and there was a point where I was really ill as well and I came through all that to come to a really good point and um, my body feels good, I think we've peaked right and you know I, I don't think I could really be in a better place looking at how those openers moved um, like I said, with the game plan, opening lighter, aside from deadlift, because um, deadlift feels good, just to make sure, because watching the girls compete, the refs are pretty harsh, like with depth and the pauses on bench, so again, make sure the opener is no doubt, you know, something really comfortable, and obviously openers can be changed, but I don't think they'll need to be changed. And my goals for the comp... Um, Obviously you want to try and take a medal where you can, we kind of have to wait and see that on the day. Realistically I think I'll be looking at third place medals. Depending on if one or two boys don't actually, like some of them might not actually turn up um, by the looks of it. I think there's two guys who look like they're not showing. I'm already in, that puts me in like the top five. I'm already in the top seven if they do, but the top five. So it looks like it will be like, I could potentially get a third um, place squat. Um, I'll be, you know, looking to get that if I can. And then a, there'll be like three or four of us fighting for third place, depending on total. So, you know, obviously you want to come away with a medal. That's something I want to come away with. I want to come away with something to show for it. Um, but aside from that, I want to get the 700 total that I never got at Scottish Classics. And I feel I'm very much on for that. I feel like, you know, that's almost a given, but obviously I have to make sure it happens. And to make sure I get that, it's got to be, I want six for six, six for six going into the final deadlift and the final deadlift fucking send it however you want you know six for six have the 700 wrapped up easy and then just fucking go for it so 
we'll see what's there on squat. Um, again, depending on what I maybe need for a third place medal, we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna make sure I leave nothing out there. Um, you know, like I said, um, I don't know if I've said this quote already, but I've worked too hard to be. I've worked too hard not to be confident. So I've just got to absolutely go for it. Do you know what I mean? Like I might as well go enjoy the experience. You know, know that I've put the work in and go for what I want in the day. Because there's no loss in going for it, you know. Um, I'll never wonder what if, you know. So that's kind of what I'm going in the mindset of. And like I said, I feel good anyway. So, um, you know, uh, I'm going to go for or take what I can, go for everything I can. Hey, if it, fuck, anything can happen, could go better, could go worse. But I believe the worst will come out with a 700 total. That's kind of like the minimum I'm coming out with. Um, and I'm going to give everything for it, but... Um, I just obviously want to say a massive thank you and I'll say this again afterwards but to all the people who invested in the fundraiser to get me here in the first place don't think I've forgotten about that I've done everything for this comp like really have um, despite a lot of difficulties with injury and illness and I want you to know that I've, I've really given everything I can for this um, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity my family, my friends, my girlfriend like you know, I wouldn't be here without them and I'm thinking about them constantly and that's kind of what this little pin's for. And um, this is my dad's kilt pin. Um, and I haven't spoken about my dad a lot recently. Obviously my dad passed away when I was 15 in 2013. Um, and this kilt pin is a very special thing to me. I always remember thinking it was amazing just with a little purple, obviously it's not real, but a little purple sort of diamond. And um, it's the only real sentimental thing I've got with me. I've got no photos, I've got nothing, but I've got this and I've had it on my bag and I've brought it everywhere with me and this to me just makes me think. It puts him at the forefront of my mind. It puts my family, my friends at the front of my mind. It puts my country at the front of my mind because I'm a really proud Scot. Really, really proud. Um, and I can't wait to be able to represent my country because representing my country wasn't just my dream. It really was mine and my dad's dream. There was a point in football where I was playing well enough where we thought maybe one day, and it hasn't happened that way, but I've got this opportunity now, and I know somewhere out there he's going to see it, and that's going to be really fucking proud. It's going to be a really proud moment, um, and I'm going to have this with me in the back and just, you know, hold on to it tight and, like I say, use whatever is there to fucking take what I want. Um, and give it all I've got so you know this is dear to me and it's with me and he's with me and the thing is with my dad I very seldom talk about him now I don't really get upset about him or anything anymore but through sport through this sport and, and sport in general we you know through sport our relationship really grew and that's where we created a bond and it's probably where I feel closest to him you know he was my mentor throughout my time through football and I always wonder what it'd be like with him here, but I know that, you know, he'd be there screaming and he'd, he's going to be at the forefront of my mind. And I'm going to give all for him, all for my family, all for my friends, all for my fucking country and all the people that donated money just for me to fucking be here. Like I said, I've worked too hard not to be confident, so I'm going to go and give it all I've got. Thank you to everyone for watching and anyone that's left a nice comment, supported, whatever. There's nothing left to do now, but fucking go and do it. And I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, that's it from me. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Remember to leave this video a like, subscribe if you're new. Come on, Scotland, let's fucking go.